Wow, welcome back to the kitchen. We are so glad you joined us today. So today we're kind of making our own concoction. It's what we call Means Acres Red Chili Soup or stew. Like what is the difference? What is like in the comments below, tell me your version of stew chili soup. What makes each one? What we've done is um, this video is a little different than our others because we've broken into sections because it's also on a Pampered Chef party. So um, thanks for joining all of that. Be sure uh, we're gonna demo our rock crock uh, in the slow cooker. So it's the rock crock Dutch oven in the slow cooker base. So what we've done is prep the sauce in the deluxe cooking blender. Then we put everything together into the slow cooker. We've let it cook for six to eight hours. And now we're gonna finish it up. All right, our first step, we are going to take our three chilies for our recipe and take the stems and the seeds out. We're gonna rinse them and we'll be right back. All right, welcome back. So now we are we have our chilies um, cleaned and debriefed. Debriefed. Anyways, we remove the stems and the seeds and they're washed. I'm gonna turn the heat off of my boiling water, add in these chilies, and we're gonna let it steep for 30 minutes. So we'll see you in just a minute. Okay, we have our chilies have steeped for 30 minutes and they are nice and ready to go. From here, I am going to place them in the deluxe cooking blender. Absolute must have in the kitchen. So I'm just going to take them out of this water. And now I'm going to add one chipotle pepper. Our garlic and Mexicans uh, oregano. And one cup of water. Rinse off my tongs. We are going to puree this on custom blend and we'll put it on a speed of six until we get everything pureed. So hold on to your ears, it'll be a tiny bit loud. All right, look at that, would ya? So that is our sauce. Next, we'll put everything together in the rock crock with our meat. See you in a few minutes. All right, now we are gonna move to adding our ingredients into our rock crock slow cooker. Um, so my rock crock is super cool. This piece allows you to go from freezer, fridge, microwave, in the oven, on the stovetop, on the grill, or in the base. So very, very versatile. First, I'm going to add my beef. So instead of using raw meat, we are going to use what we already had in the fridge, which is our ribs from our prime rib that we had the other night. So this is gonna be super yummy. 
we're going to let it slow cook these well. Let me just ride this struggle bus right on over here. How about that? Perfect. Next, I'm going to add my onions. So quick tip about onions. If you have extra, you can always dice them up, throw them in the freezer so that they don't ruin. Pop out a little freezer bag. We have ours in one cup. Um, so it's one onion. Um, basically in each bag. So drop those in. Next, I'm going to add our sauce that we created in our deluxe cooking blender. So here's our amazing sauce. And we'll just scrape all that yummy goodness right out of there. There we go. Now we will add our secret spices into the mix. So, and we'll give it a little stir, toss that around a little bit. Next comes our water, excuse me. There we go. Four cups of water. I like to use it at room temperature. And two bay leaves. We'll add those on the top. And give it a little stir. Next, I'm gonna turn on my rock rock on high for, it says four to six hours. We'll check it in four hours and see how the meat's coming off the bone. If it needs a little longer, we'll keep going. See you soon. So we started in our rock crock. We are cooking Memes Acres red chili or red chili stew. What do you call it? Like, tell me in the comments, what's the difference between chili, soup, and stew? What is it? So we've already started our cooking and had to cook for about six hours. And so I'm going to just, um, instead of using raw meat today, we used uh, our leftover prime rib. So I've had my uh, rib bones cooking throughout the day in the sauce, and now I'm going to add the rest of the meat. So, let's do it. I'm not sure we have room for all of this, but we're going to put as much as we can. Now I'm going to try not to make a huge mess. Well, just kidding, it all fits. So we're gonna let this cook for a little while longer and just kind of soak up those juices. And while that's happening, I am going to make guacamole in the deluxe cooking blender. And then we'll be ready to eat. So we can have some guacamole and chips with our chili. Before I do that, I want to just remind you the spices that are on sale through the week. December 31st, Cinnamon Plus, um, Cordonite Cinnamon, and our Double Strength Vanilla. Get them while they last because December 31st, no longer available until next holiday season, hopefully. So, don't forget, these three items, add them to your order so you'll have them throughout the year. Okay, so the next question I have, when you make guacamole, do you add, what's in it? Do you put cream cheese in yours? My sweet, dear friend, Patricia England, taught me how to make guacamole like 20 plus years ago, and we always add cream cheese. So, here we go. 
I've cut up my avocados and we're gonna drop them in our blender. I have about three, four cups of avocados. It was about three and a half. Um, we're gonna add a cup of cilantro. It was a full bunch and that just kind of goes to taste because if you don't like that much cilantro, don't put it all in. Next, I'm gonna add in a full block of cream cheese because we like it cream. And then, tomato and green onion. Come on, into the blender it goes. Next, I'm going to add three teaspoons of Slap Your Mama. So this is our all-time cooking spice in our kitchen. So in it goes, Slap Your Mama. Next is our lime. And we're gonna use half of the lime. We'll cut it in half and then use our famous juicer. In it goes. That one was kind of small, it might be too. So, <coughs> Teresa asked, is there a list of ingredients on those spices? It'll be put into this party, as well as we'll put it into the YouTube video. Yes. So if you didn't hear my cameraman, we will have the list of ingredients um, on the party. Um, I'll post it after our live as well as in the YouTube video. So you can have it. So for the full cooking demo of the uh, chili, it'll be on the YouTube video as well. So for our guacamole, I have my blender on custom blend. And I'm going to put it on a setting of four. So I'm going to have my blender speed at four. And then we'll just kind of watch it. So sorry for the noise, but here we go. I'm going to stop it for just a minute so I can talk to you. The cool thing about the blender is it comes with this little plunger. So if you need to push everything down like we're going to, um, you can take the lid off the top, kind of give it a shove and a twist, and then we'll turn it back on. And then we'll mix it some more. Denise says that she uses the Pico 3HEB to make those. Oh, super quick and easy. I love it. You would just have to drop in your avocados and your cream cheese. Add some spice and you're good to go. I don't want my plunger to get stuck in my blades, so I turn it off, but you can keep going. so far. We've demoed the air fryer, we've demoed the cooking blender, we've demoed the uh, quick cooker, as well as the Rock Croc series. What's your favorite? Tell me. The cool thing about the Rock Croc, as you remember we chatted about it earlier today, the versatility 
it can go from the freezer to the fridge to the microwave in the oven broil it put it on the cooktop or out on the grill and you can stick it in the dishwasher so one of the few pieces uh, that can is dishwasher safe um, and we love to cook in it it's absolutely amazing Denise loves your facial expression <laughs> So, we just have a lot of fun. Super, super fun. All right. Any questions? How are we feeling out there? Denise got, um, she earned the Cinnamon Plus in her November party. And um, that was super fun. How many of you out there have some of our holiday spices? Okay, so let's plate our guacamole. Let me grab a bowl. And we will scoop it out of the blender. Little scraper. <laughs> Josh says, how are you not on the Food Network? <laughs> I don't know, but if you guys will like my YouTube videos, maybe we can become famous together. Come on. Okay. Paper towel. So, let's scoop it out. Look at that deliciousness. Super creamy, all blended together. Yum. So what's the verdict? Do you add cream cheese or do you not? It's kind of like the thick version of green sauce from Chewy's. When you add cream cheese to it. All right. My other favorite thing about the Deluxe Cooking Blender is it cleans itself. It has a self-cleaning. Add a little bit of soap and a little bit of water and push the button. How much, Courtney? Teach me so that we get the right amount. I like to get a little bit of soap happy when I do it, and so I get in trouble with that. Um, so Courtney will get it ready for us and we'll put it on the clean cycle so you can see how stinking easy that is. All right. So with that, our chips and our guacamole, we will pull out our chili and we'll be ready to eat some dinner. Here we go. We'll use our scoop and serve. This is brand new for the fall and my absolute favorite in the kitchen. Look at this red chili. Super love the red chili stew. Man, I am so glad you guys joined us in the kitchen today. I want to be mindful of your time, but before we go, I'm going to show you this little cooking blender, how it cleans itself. So Courtney has a little bit of water and a little bit of soap. Add the lid. And then we will move it over to heated wash. So Denise says, or Denise asks, what's your secret for keeping your guac from turning, get, not turning or getting brown? I add a layer of saran wrap, 
put it on the top and press it all the way down so that it's touching all my guacamole, seal it around the inside of the bowl and stick it in the fridge. Any place that it has air is definitely gonna turn brown. So Josh said, this is making me so hungry, but I love watching. And Felicia said, that looks so good. Yay, it's delicious, I can't wait. I am so thankful that you guys are joining us. All right, here we go. I'm gonna press start and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.